this is the season when the wildebeest have their calves, and with good reason. After the first rains, fresh grass shoots up for the herds, and insects are everywhere for the birds. Some of the cranes begin a courtship dance that strengthens their bond. In an unusual strategy, almost all wildebeest calves are born within one three-week period. This abundance overwhelms predators and gives each calf a better chance of survival. For wildebeest, there is safety in numbers. If a mother and calf are not able to stay with the herd, danger stalks close behind. Calves must be able to walk almost as soon as they are born to have any chance of survival. Hungry eyes watch keenly for any opportunity. Today, the hyena clan are on the prowl. Their young cub follows to watch and learn. Hyenas are often thought of as just scavengers, but in fact, they are deadly hunters. Their strategy is simple, find weakness and then exploit it. A single hyena on the attack easily panics a herd. A calf is separated, but the fleeing zebras add to the confusion. Another hyena sees its chance, but the calf is back with the herd and safe for the moment. The clan spots another target a lone zebra, and it's injured. They move in from behind. They bite at the hind legs to bring the zebra down, but they are cautious. And strangely, these zebra don't panic, but instead seem to watch as their injured companion fights desperately for her life. A well-placed kick from her sharp hooves could inflict a serious wound. Then the zebras do move. Forward. Outnumbered, the hyenas retreat for now. There is no shortage of prey. Another lunge, and again panic. Hyenas are persistent hunters. They run until they single out their target, another cow and calf, then wear them down until exhausted. The calf is safe for now, but without a mother, its future is bleak. She is still alive as the lead hyena starts to disembowel her. But by the time the rest of the clan moves in, she is dead. Hyenas aren't known for their table manners. For the cub, it's an invaluable lesson for the future. The clan are unhurried as they feed, for on these grasslands they have virtually no competition 